I'm Dr. Megan Bolton. I work at the South Lake location. Speech therapy is special treatment for children that are delayed in areas of speech and it can also include um, delays with feeding or feeding difficulties. So you'll have someone who's specially trained in this that will come and work with your child to reach the certain developmental milestones that we're lacking. Physical therapy is treatment geared toward your gross motor milestones, so things like running, walking, sitting, um, and children that need those obviously are showing delays in gross motor development. Occupational therapy is therapy guided to your fine motor skills such as holding a pencil, writing, buttoning buttons, zipping a zipper, unlocking or untwisting a cap on a bottle. So people that come and work on your fine motor skills. Most insurances do cover therapies, um, especially if we can prove that there are delays. There are certain areas that the state provides. There's a service called BabyNet that covers all children ages three and under with developmental delays. So it's a process you have to get evaluated to see if you meet these criteria. And once children graduate from the BabyNet system at age three, then services get transferred through the school districts so you can also have evaluations through the school system and they will pay for it there. There are other options too if private insurances do not pay. Um, there are certain areas that we can look into like Tefra Medicaid that will cover some privately insured children um, to help cover these areas of therapies in the home. So the referral process if you know, your provider deems that there are areas of delay, then we will refer to the special therapy or baby nut, the system in general. And often that's a, um, a slow process that starts the evaluation to see if the child will qualify for baby nut. So you go through a certain nurse and start that application process. And also too, you can have personal evaluations by the speech therapist, physical therapist, or occupational therapist. And these evaluations are actually them doing certain standardized testing to see if your child will qualify. And then again, once if they do meet criteria and therapy begins, at every quarter or definitely yearly, there are reviews that are done to make sure that your child is meeting um, goals that are met or making progress through it. And then in some situations, they actually meet all of their goals and are no longer delayed so they can graduate from the system. And that's one of the good things of having service coordination through an early interventionist that BabyNet will set up, or if we're past age three, you can have service coordination through other companies, and they help coordinate all of these um, evaluations and reevaluations to see if you can continue. My middle child, Madison, has Down syndrome and has received occupational therapy, speech therapy, and physical therapy since three months of age and now we're pro you're transitioning through therapy through the school system. So it's, it's a um, learning process from sure from the parents. It can be very overwhelming. There's a lot to take in and that's why I'm interested in therapy and how I know kind of the ins and outs of some of the processes up through age five.